One of the most useful uses for pure data is to do calculations and different sorts of patching that will affect MIDI instruments so that you get these really rich and dynamic experiences. Now, we're going to use some software MIDI instruments right now, not hardware, which means all of the MIDI routing will be done in the machine. Uh, that is, there are no hardware connections to the machine. And for this example, I'm going to use FM8 by Native Instruments. It's a software plugin. And I've got a uh, patch loaded in that is nice and clean. This movie is limited to Mac right now because this is done a little bit differently than it, on Mac than it is on PC. Okay, to get started, we're going to use the IAC driver. And the IAC driver is a driver that allows you to send MIDI from one application to another. And to find it, we'll go to the hard drive, applications, scroll down to utilities, and then click the audio MIDI setup icon. You'll see the IAC driver is either bold red or this shaded out red. Double click on it and make sure that the box is checked, which says devices online. Now it's bold red, that means it's on. So the driver's ready. We'll close the audio MIDI setup and go back to FM8. Now we need to set FM8 to receive MIDI notes. So we'll go to File, Audio MIDI Settings. This is different than the audio MIDI settings we were just in. And under MIDI, we see Apple Computer Incorporated IAC Driver Bus 1 on. It might say off if in case you actually have FM8 and can do this, you just click the box at the right. Choose OK. Now what's really important is that all of this external MIDI setup has to be done before you launch PD. So now let's launch PD from the dock. OK. And then create a new canvas. That's actually really important because you can't edit the MIDI settings until a new canvas is created. Now under the PD extended menu, choose preferences, MIDI settings. And here we see input device, output device. So we're going to send out from PD in the next few mov movies. So we'll click on the none button and there you see IAC driver. And click OK. So I'll describe the basic connectivity here is it's going MIDI information out from PD through the IAC driver into FM8. Now let's take a look at the make note object in order to send notes to the FM8 synthesizer. So what we'll do is command one, make note, and the two creation arguments here are velocity and duration. So let's say velocity equals 80. Remember that you're using MIDI, so your values are between 0 and 127. And for duration, let's say 500 milliseconds. OK, so the three inlets here are the MIDI note number, velocity, and duration. And it is sending out uh, velocity here on the right, and then the note on the left. So we will create another box from, for note out. That's the object used to actually send notes out uh, via the IAC driver because we've set it up that way. And let's use the creation argument of one. That means channel one. And the inlets here are note, velocity, and channel. So we'll connect the outlet note to the inlet and the outlet velocity to the middle inlet. Finally, we need to set up a message box and connect it to the inlet of make note. And this is going to be the MIDI note number. So 60 is middle C. Lock the patcher, and there you go. So if you don't know this, um, note on, note off is the primary way in which um, MIDI notes are structured. A note on message is the MIDI number of the note as well as the velocity greater than zero. And the note off message is the same MIDI number but with a velocity equal to zero. So what make note does is it schedules the note off message uh, to be after the um, time of the note. So let's create, how about a chord? So create another message. Let's make a C major chord. So 64, that's E. And 67, that's G. OK. 
connect all of these messages to the inlet of make note, create a trigger to make sure they're banged in the right or order, and then we'll just use a bang at the top. Lock the patcher, and there you go. Now you might be asking yourself, well, why couldn't you do this? Let's say 60, 64, and 67. And then connect that to the inlet of make note. Well, you see what happens is make note is configured so that when it receives a list, that is a message with multiple numbers, it will interpret the first number as the MIDI note, the second number as the velocity, and the third note as the duration. So you'll notice that when I click this list, the note is very short and it only sends out um, a middle C, which is note 60. When I click the uh, bang up here, I get the chord, but then I get the duration that has been set now from the list. So if I wanted 500 again, I would create a message, connect it to the rightmost inlet because that's the inlet for duration. Remember this is in terms of milliseconds, so then I'll set that to 500 milliseconds and then we get a note that's a half second long. Now, you may ask yourself, well what if you wanted to actually write out note on, note off. That is, you didn't want to use make note, you just wanted to use uh, message boxes because essentially what you're doing here is you're sending note, velocity, duration through this object which interprets that and then to an object that sends out note, velocity, and channel. Well, what you could do is we could create note out on channel 1 and we'll create a message box that is middle C at velocity 80. Connect that to the inlet of note out. Okay, because note out can actually interpret these lists also. Create another message box with the same MIDI note, that's really important, but a velocity of zero. And connect it to the inlet. So now when I click the 60 80 message box. It'll continually be on. Then I have to send 60 0 because I have to send a note on, if you will, of 0 with a velocity in order to shut the note off. That can be really helpful if you're using uh, some sort of physical switch and you want to say, okay, as long as the switch is down, I'm holding the switch down, the note should be on. Then when I release the switch, the note should be off. See, with make note, we send a note and the note off is automatically scheduled. With this method on the right, we're actually scheduling, or we're not scheduling rather, the note off. Instead we're saying keep the note on until something tells you to turn it off. <laughs>